Hi, I'm Dr. Heather Richardson from Bedford Breast Center. Today I'd really like to show you something super interesting. We've created some artificial biopsies to demonstrate what happens when we use our minimally invasive technique. We do what's called a minimally invasive lesion removal, or sometimes we call it a miller, and we have a, a probe that is placed inside the patient um, after it's been anesthetized and completely numbed, and then a small door opens with the device and it takes tiny bites of the lesion and then pulls it away with a vacuum-assisted suction so that the, uh, the tissue that we're uh, biopsying can be taken out in a, in a piecemeal fashion. It can be whittled away in tiny pieces without having surgery. Uh, the benefits of this type of procedure is, of course, we get to avoid surgery, yay! We don't recommend this for every type of lesion that we see. We certainly don't recommend it for known cancers or things that are suspected as highly likely to be cancer, but for patients who have uh, healthy things that aren't cancerous that they've either had for a while or that we've just found but have no features of cancer and only features of something healthy, this is a great alternative that takes care of everything and wraps it up in a nice little bow. So what we're gonna show you today is we're going to take our probe and we're going to direct it underneath the lesion. We do this with ultrasound guidance, but for these purposes, we're just placing it underneath the lesion and then we're gonna see this door open up and as the door opens and closes, it's taking bites of that lesion. And as we sort of pass upwards, we see that the lesion's being removed. Uh, we do this over and over again and with our ultrasound guidance, we look around to see if there are any uh, small bits of the area that we haven't addressed with our, our biopsy device and the tissue is pulled out into a collection chamber and then once the tissue is pulled out we pass that off to be analyzed under the microscope and make sure that all the cells are safe and healthy. Um, if something has been removed and we see no remnants of it whatsoever with the ultrasound and we feel like to the best of our ability we've got it all, if the final pathology shows healthy tissue or only minimally atypical tissue, but the area has been completely removed, um, there's usually no benefit of taking any additional tissue and we don't have to have surgery. It's a great way to remove and treat a lesion, remove and treat a growth uh, without having to watch it continuously and providing tissue for diagnosis. So this is a great option for people who have healthy areas that bother them and they want gone, but they don't want surgery. It's a great way of treating um, fat necrosis or areas of dead fat that people have from fat grafting where they've had fat put into their breasts and areas of it have died away and create you know, a, a um, uncomfortable or uneven lump that bothers patients, or if they wanna get rid of the areas of dead tissue so that they can have more fat grafting and they need an area that will take on more living tissue. That's a great option for us to use this procedure for them. Another thing that is wonderful about this procedure is that uh, there's no scar. Um, the tiny, tiny insertion site that we make to put this probe in is about two to three millimeters, and we typically find an area on the edge of the colored circle or areola. There's a natural muscle under this, so even if we do make a tiny nick in the skin, the muscle usually pulls it together and makes it even smaller than we made it. It's a really beautiful, fantastic way of taking care of um, healthy, non-cancerous lesions, no stitches. We put a single seri strip over the top, and patients who have this procedure, um, there's no limits to activity. They can shower the next day, and uh, if, if we do and, and decide to send off the tissue, um, we call the patient with results, and usually we have healthy, wonderful results, and there's nothing else to do. Patients don't typically have to follow the area, and uh, they don't have to worry about the area growing or monitoring it or feeling it again. If we have a surprise and something looks very safe but is actually something dangerous that's masquerading as something safe, um, performing this procedure doesn't burn any bridges. We can always go back and treat this completely uh, if we do find evidence of cancer in the tissue and ultimately have to take care of it. Again, we don't recommend this procedure for anyone who has a cancerous lesion or something that is very suspicious for cancer and is otherwise undiagnosed, but for patients who have already had a sample taken and they know that it's something non-cancerous, something like a fibroadenoma or something like fat necrosis from previous surgeries that have created areas of dead fat, or patients who have um, very healthy looking growths that need evaluation and they're quite small. The whole procedure usually takes about 15 minutes and we do it with just local anesthetic in the skin. So no surgery, no, no significant scarring, uh, very little downtime and a great way to get us information about a lesion and then have it be gone all in one fell swoop.